in our prayer this morning. As I went to Lord God later, everyone that joined, you will bless, you will be saved, you will transform. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We want to begin to give thanks to God this morning for granting us another privilege. We come before you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Father, we worship and bless your name. Let's take glory for the Lord of Jesus' name. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this new day. I thank you for the... It is a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful moment. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for all your benefits. Thank you. Thank you, my dear Lord. In Jesus' well, mighty name. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. We want to thank the Lord on behalf of our leader on the platform, Pastor Matthew. Uh, I want us to understand something. Um, the way, if you look at the GS, all these uh, genuine servants of God and the maybe founder, leaders, pastors, or any leader of anything, or even the leader in the home, the fathers and all that, uh, you, mm. they may not tell you the battle they, they go through. They may not tell you the fight they fight. I mean, I'm talking about spiritual fight and yes. the battle and the attack that comes to them and all of that. And a lot of battle. And because we, on this side of, um, or this side of, what do you call it now? This side of the world, I'm talking of Africa. Uh, we have this culture where people think that pastors do not have problems or challenges or battle they fight. And so they feel, and the you know, pastor will come even with their challenges. They still come, they smile, they encourage other people. Why they hide their own challenges and they are not yes. able to relate. They are not able to speak out. And then before you know, he had that pastor die of heart attack or he died of high blood pressure or he died of, not because he was a sinner, no, no, no. And so there are many things that make some of these pastors to die early, to just leave this world. There are a lot of attack, there are a lot of pressure, there are a lot of challenges. I want to give thanks to God who has been sustaining his servant, Pastor Matthew, I want to give glory unto God, despite water that have crossed, that have gone under the bridge, God has been most faithful. You know, if you are not there, you cannot understand. You know, when you hear some people say, oh, I understand what you are going to. Mm -mm. The person may not understand. In fact, I'm teaching a series now on Facebook on what we call emotional intelligence. Many people do not understand when someone is going to some critical issue and then you hear someone will say, oh, I really understand what you are going to. You may not really understand, except you have probably um, experienced similar thing or something close to it. So many times when people use the word, I understand what you are going to, they may not truly, truly. They just use it probably just to console the person or console themselves. We want to give thanks to God. It's been God. Ah, in God. There are oh, people who are yeah. not to them. Yeah. They will just commit suicide. They will just be thinking and thinking. Yeah. And then depression will come. Yeah. Despair will come. Yeah. 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 Our pastor, God, has been so faithful. Let's give thanks to God for our pastor. Let's give thanks to God for our pastor. I have continued to rest upon him, continue to uphold him every day, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I continue to uphold the servant. O oh Lord, continue to uphold the servant. O oh Lord, continue to uphold the servant. 
In the name of Jesus, Father, we commit Pastor Matthew Lord to your hand. We pray, O oh Lord, Jesus, in time, oh Lord, mighty name, time, we pray. Amen. God has been faithful in our midst. Yes, God has been, I mean, greatly faithful. And this morning prayer, we, we spend part of it uh, praying for our children. Or oh, spend part of it praying for our spouse, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers who are here. You cannot over pray for your husband and for your wife. It's a duty for the wives to always pray for their husbands. Uh, yeah. there, are some, there are some wives that, uh, please, can you hear me, sir? Ma? Yes, yes sir. I can hear you. Okay, there are some uh, wives. I don't want to use any negative words such as uh, saying gullible wives. There are some wives that they when you when you ask them, uh, are, you, are you praying for your husbands? Are you spending time? Are you calling God? And all? ah, and uh, my wife is a Christian. My husband is a Christian. He is a pastor, and uh, I trust my husband. This. And my husband, ah, no, 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 and all that, and all that. So they overestimate their husband that nothing can happen to them. They cannot fall, they cannot fail, they cannot falter. They are forgotten that pastors are human. They are forgotten that they have flesh and blood. They are forgotten that what is sustaining us is just the grace of God and the help of the Holy Spirit. And so they delude themselves with the fact that nothing can happen. But lo and behold, you hear things that are unimaginable. This is why, why you can never over pray for your wife. Never, never over pray for your wife. You can never over pray for your husband. And we want to go before God now as we start and begin the prayer. There's an intercession we want to make. That intercession is about the tragedy that happened this last uh, uh, week of that school that collapsed in Joss. And, then, and you saw several lives that were wasted, all these young people. And then you saw that woman, that the that, 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 uh, one that lost four children. And now we are that the woman herself has died now because she not been able to bear the deaths of those unfortunate women. Now that's a colossal loss. And then the other one that they said the only child died. Now the story went this way that oh, the, the, baby, the, the, the child saw a father carrying a casket, small casket on his head three days before that time. <laughs> and the child died or the child died he was not ready, uh, uh, the, person, the child was not ready to go to school, but because they were writing exam, so the father persuaded and, the, and the, the, the child left that day. Now, this is the prayer. We will pray for as many who are still hurting, as many of those children who are in the hospital now, those children who, are, who can still survive, that God in his infinite mercy I want us to know as we pray for others, God is actually which you wish for others for you too. So we want to cry to him now that the God of mercy will resuscitate as many of the children who are still alive in the hospital, in various clinics and hospital general oh, anywhere. Oh, it is in final. Oh, your name for this way. Father, nice. for me, the children oh, that can be that dangerous accident, we don't know any to them. Father, we thank you for those that are still alive in the hospitals. Lord, we pray a strength for your end of healing. Balm of Gilad, O Lord, strength for your end of healing and heal those children expressly, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, I hear them. 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 I
Anywhere they have brought you to, O Lord, we call you not upon the children in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they are here in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 Lord, Father God, Father, have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Psalm 128, Psalm 128, in verse 3b, verse 3b, thy children like only plants run about thy table. Thy children like only plants run about thy table. We want to pray. In verse 6, yea, thou shalt see thy children, children, and peace be upon Oh, I'm begging you, the days if we need to pray, the Lord will secure our children. Amen. The Lord will our children. Amen. Lord, they go and come for their people to serve their life. They are coming to serve their life over and to serve their life and to serve their people of evil all over the Jesus' name. Any form of attack is coming to live their life in Jesus' name. The children are for some of the world. They are for long plans. They are for children who are very good. They are for children who are very good. They are for children who are very good. Yeah, this is not the time for which we are living in for our wives and there's a prayer point i am bringing to us soon and of course uh, there will be testimony about that prayer point Amen. Amen. The, there's a there's a, there, there's a need we need to pray this aspect our wives now please let's listen let's listen to this if you are here, your wife is also here and all that. Whether your wife is here or not, but we are starting with our wives first. Wow. Our wife will not be diagnosed of terminal disease, terminal sickness. Amen. 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 I want us to hear this. I want us to hear this. The rate yes. at which terminal sickness is killing people in the church. I mean, mm. all these things. Or kidney, liver, cancer, good boy, and all that. We trust that in the life of our wife, it will not Amen. come. Amen. 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 I reject, I ignore, I subdue, I stand back in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we commit our wives all of you to your hand. Those present here are not present here. We cast all of you in the name of Jesus. I cast it in the name of Jesus. And I'm not sickness. Oh, no, Father, I Father, 
Los All the way for a particular sister. Nigger. A nigger to the nick. A niggy niggy nig nigger nigger nig niggy. Niggy to the nick eat nigger. Niggy to eat nick niggy nick nigger. Who is it? Who are you? I'm the most. It's saying nigger anytime I want. Nigga. <laughs> Co-host, you not admit these people that has no name on their on their this thing. I mean, I'm removing them. Okay, sir. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, well, let me see. There are some of the children of there are some of the children of Belia we have in the world. We want to pray for a particular sister. Uh, she's. Is one of my members, and we want to cry to God. On please don't admit any of them. Let me remove this one. And I'm reporting him too. Okay. Please don't admit any of those people. Yeah. Now I want to pray for this sister. Uh, she she just discovered there was a lump, whether it's a lump or whatever, in her, her breast, and mm -hmm. all that. She going for. She had been going for. Going for. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. Until yesterday, I came back and was telling you. John, you already seen it before that time. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. So, and then until it was diagnosed that she's, uh, that is both kind Sir, and uh, my wife has already assured her not to be afraid and all that. And then uh, so wait, her name is Sister Gifts. I want to pray that cancer because I'm going to call her this morning myself. It is it is dead on arrival. I say that cancer jam will die this morning. That jam Amen. will die. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We kill that cancer jam. 
Father, you will know that you will need in the name of Jesus. Jam, that cancer jam, cancer or jam, or whatever they think. We have killed it. It is Amen. forever. Amen. 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 I will call her this morning, and then I will just only tell her what has happened already. She is Amen. free. Amen. Set free. There's Amen. another one. One. I, I I knew her. She he used to be our leader those days here in Wari in Delta State. Before he traveled to Abuja, got married, and if I got married and all of that, for years now he has been battling with uh, kidney. If I he told me how millions of naira he has spent. I said this terminal disease is a terrible. In fact, when you don't even have money, you can kill the patient because. The way they go for dialysis, dialysis, and the thing is expensive. Every two, two weeks, or according to the amount he was calling for me, just to outrageous. Money that can use, that can help someone to live a good life. Even be, I think it's amazing how someone will spend millions of, of Naira, millions, millions on health issues. The why I've tried and tried as a legal practitioner, mm. pay soul in the family we want to pray his name is brother austin brother austin adoga we want to cry unto god to deliver he said no he said no keep the pop and then you 
We are transiting to another issue in the home, and that's between husband and wife. What to pray? There are different things that brings conflict in the home when the when there is no proper intimacy in the bedroom, when there is no proper you know satisfaction, when there is no proper uh, consideration and uh, understanding the feelings of one another, and then when one is ignored, his story was told by a Christian leader. In fact, she still repeated it in a seminar. Uh, a seminar that she organized a uh, few days ago. Is uh, she's a Christian? She's uh, an entrepreneur, a school owner. In fact, a very a rich woman. And then she was talking. I still joined a seminar just a few days ago, and then she organizes all this uh, marriage seminar and all that. And then she was telling us a story of a misunderstanding, in fact, between a man and a woman, that's husband and wife now, and they, I love what that man did. Rather than the man picking quarrel with the wife, the wife kept on denying him, kept on denying him, and the man was starving. He was starving, he was starving, he was starving. You know, there are women who, yes, they are church people, low, but they have diplomatic way of trying to retaliate from their and all of that. They may not say it pointedly, but you can tell that it's a revenge and all that. And uh, so she kept on doing that. So it's like the man was praying to God. He, because he probably wouldn't pick quarrel with the wife and all that. Then one day, it was said, it was said that God appeared. God spoke to the woman. But hear what God said, though, because the thing is very shocking for me. And that... Would you want me to kill you so that your husband can marry another woman? It was so clear to the woman. Would you want me to kill you? That is, I should kill you, you now. Because it's like you are trying to kill the man. So should I kill you so that your husband can be free to marry someone else and then live his life? And that was, that must, that mean that man must have way out of pain and agony and tears want to cry unto God as many own going to a critical issue and our wives who are here this is a marriage uh, prayer this is a marriage prayer and there's nothing we are hiding here and that's why most time I actually prefer that couple are the one joining and not just say uh, even if the young ad adults are joining no problem they just have to understand what we are saying there are a lot of critical issues that happen in the marriage. Yes, my marriage is still very young. At least by December, it will be fifth. But the truth is that I have, by the mercy of God, I have learned, attended seminars, I have read books, I have exposed myself to many things. And then I have to be on learning things that uh, people have learned that they think that was the right thing. And then I began to discover that sometimes, uh, what people call dialogue. You, you see, somebody will be talking at the wife instead of talking with the wife. There are two things, talking at the wife or talking to the wife. Instead of talking with the wife, they are not the same thing. You are, you are to talk with your wife, you are to talk with your husband, and not to talk to your husband and talk at your husband. You are to talk with him. You are to talk with him. You are to talk with her. And that's when you will understand. You find a kind of, uh, uh, the husband is talking to you, and then before you know it, the voice is raised, the tune, the tune is high. And then the husband is wondering, 
Yeah, you are saying the right thing, but in the wrong way. You are saying the right thing, though, but the, the wrong way. And that's why the man will not accept. And then he walked out of the house. Many, many things bring a lot of issues in the family. We want to cry unto God this morning. As many homes that are in disarray, in dissolution, in disorganization, as many homes as I speak this morning, they are not enjoying the perfect peace that Jesus has provided. That this morning, let there be supernatural intervention. May Amen. God intervene in that home. May God Amen. intervene in that home. Amen. May God Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. Thank you for my own hope. Thank you for done for us. We are praying for every other person that is not a good family. We are praying for the family of God. That we have to be your family. Father, we are praying for them, O Lord. Oh, thank you for the testimony of the family. We are praying for the family of God. 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 Before, before I call Pastor Peter to round up this session, I want to read Proverbs chapter 31. In Proverbs chapter 31, I am reading verse 11 and verse 12. Verse 11 and verse 12. You see, uh, <laughs> many times when people read this, uh, this uh, Proverbs 31, I don't know why they always, uh, they always attribute it to only woman, only woman, only woman, only woman, only woman, only woman, only woman. And then the men are not seeing themselves in this picture. So let's look at Proverbs 31 in verse, uh, verse mm -hmm. 10, level mm -hmm. and verse 12. In Proverbs, I read, who can find a virtuous woman and who can also find a virtuous man for a prize is above Ruby, for his prize is above Ruby. Listen to this now. The art of her husband does safely trust in her. The moment trust is removed from marriage, that marriage is in a shadow of itself. I repeat. The moment trust is removed from marriage, that marriage becomes a shadow of itself. The art of her husband, the art of his wife, safely trust in him and safely trust in her. Listen today. So that he shall have no need of spoil. This is the one that scares me the most. This is the one that challenges me, challenges me the most. This is the one that hits my heart the most. Verse 12. She will do him good and not evil. All oh, the days of her life, my father. I have a I have a serious assignment here for my wife. I, I have to do her good and not evil, not even one day of evil, all the days of my life. Right. This is Bible, this is Bible, this is Bible. She will do him good, either in the bathroom, she will do him good in cooking his food. She will do him good in taking care of him. She will do him good in being submissive. She will do him good. In making sure that it does not reduce him from being a man. He will do it. She will do. I think this scripture is to be meditated upon. Whether we are fulfilling or not, we want to cry to see where we are falling short of this scripture. And God should enable us and embrace us that we will carry it out. Over to Pastor Peter. 
Our Father, we worship and bless your name Amen. for yet another glorious day. Thank you, we Jesus. Thank you for the gift of sleeping and waking up. Thank we you, adore Lord. your name, O oh Lord, for the privilege to come together this morning in thank thanksgiving. You. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto your name, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the prayers of this morning. Lord, we have come before you, bringing our families before you. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, according to your promises, let them be perfected in our homes, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Commit our children, Lord, into your hands. Father, you have said in your word that you give us children that will be brave. You give us children that will be wise. The children mm. that will be able to stand at the gate and challenge strangers. O oh Lord mm. God, in heaven, anywhere where the devil has crept in, that children now are becoming something different. We know we are living at the last days, but you have said that the enemy has done some things, but that mm. you, we, plant, we pull off all those evil that the enemy has done. So any also that the enemy has come in and has planted any evil in any of our children. Father, we pray in your mercy, come and remove those evil all from our children, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for our partners. I pray for my wife, for all the wives present in this prayer and those that are not present. I pray for myself and all the husband present in these prayers and those that are not present. O oh Lord God, in heaven we pray that you visit every one of us, any area we have been doing it wrong, any area we have not been doing up to the standard. Father, we pray that you forgive us and brush, out, brush us up so we'll be able to live up to the standard, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray for anyone, the brother we pray for having kidney problem, the sister we pray for having cancer. Father, already we have reached an agreement. You have said your word. If two or three of us will gather on earth and are touching anything, you will answer in heaven, so your name will be glorified. This morning we pray that power of cancer will destroy it in the name of that our beloved sister in Jesus' name. Amen. That power of kidney failure will kill it in the name in the life of that brother Austin, and we decree that a new kidney will be planted Amen. in you this morning. Name in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you have rightly said in your words, say, consign the works of my hand, command ye me. That is your word, O Lord. And we know in the creation, when you started, you say, let there be this, and it was. Let there be that, and it was. But when it came to creating the human, the human being, the Bible says, you 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 came down and full molded with your own hands. So when you talk about the works of your hand, you are cut talking about human beings. Oh Lord, you say we should command you. In the name of Jesus, this morning we come up before you, our Father and our God, we command that you will replace every missing part in any of our brother, in any of our sister. Father, replace, oh Lord, this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. When the vehicle packs up, no matter where, when it's taken to the mechanic and the mechanic opened the engine, like when my engine knocks a few weeks ago, the mechanic opened the engine and said, oh, these metals are bad. Oh, this one is bad. Oh, that one is not okay. Even he said, oh, the rings are okay. Well, I want to put them. I said, no, mechanic, you have to remove those. Rings. I don't want story. Remove the rings and put new one. And that vehicle came back just better than it was before it got bad. Oh, Lord God, you know, you, you have the ability to remove us, to recreate us. Father, this morning oh. we pray that any part that has gone bad in any yeah, vessel here, yeah, in any Jesus. vessel listening to us, oh. or the one that we are praying about, Father, this morning, recreate, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let them come back better than they were Amen. before they got sick. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the testimony we had you, from Jesus. that seminar that you appeared to that woman and said, Do you want me to kill you 
so that your husband can marry another person that will do him good. I know that woman will not be crazy to say yes. She will repent and go back and start doing what God expects him to do. Father, we pray every marriage Amen. in this our prayer network that are not enjoying, but they are enduring. Amen. The one partner is crying. Amen. Say, oh God, when are you going to hear me? Oh Lord, when are you going to hear my prayer? Oh Lord, when are you going to touch my partner? When are you going to return my partner back to me? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, I appear to such partners and do it direct like you do to that sister in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for every family represented. You have told us that who oh, we find a virtuous woman. You said the price is far above ruby. Oh Lord God in heaven, we pray for our wives in this network. Father, make them virtuous, O oh Lord, and make them women like this, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We also pray that you also make our, our brothers, our husbands, our dad this in this network may this virtues also and make them be according to your desire for your kingdom oh lord let them be kingdom husbands oh lord in jesus name amen you say the heart of the husband will be saved with her amen. father let the heart of my wife be saved with me and my Amen. heart be saved with her, O oh Lord, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray for every family here. We say, you teach us to do each other good Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Everything the wicked has planted in our Amen. heart, in our mind. This morning Amen. we have put them Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. God, the best miracle you made in your in your lifetime is that you turn water to wine and that family the governor said people give the good wine at the beginning and at the end they bring out the bad wine the people are well drunken but you have kept the good wine able till the end oh lord god in heaven we pray for every family this our network Father, let our wine be fresh every day. Amen. Let us enjoy the wine just better than it was in the beginning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And any family that the wine has gone sour. Amen. Father, in heaven we pray, they create that love again. Turn their water to wine again Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the first working day of the week. Father, we commit every one of us, Lord, into your hands. We pray as we go out this week, your power will lead us. Amen. All that we lay our hands upon, we prosper. Amen. We Amen. Come back at the end of this week with testimonies, Amen. oh Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Your son, you are used this morning, we pray that you lay your mighty hand upon Amen. him and refresh him, oh Lord. Amen. You are Amen. more useful for Amen. us. Because Amen. Every, morning, every Monday morning, oh Lord. I always eager for Mondays so that we enjoy the good wisdom and the anointing you have put on your son. We pray that that anointing will now run dry Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, Pastor Matthew, continue to refresh him. Amen. Father, continue to touch him. Amen. Continue to do good to him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we await that testimony. Amen. Hey, Pastor Matthew, Amen. that you are doing good, Amen. that you have restored his family, Amen. that everything is now to Amen. 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 Jesus name. Amen. Thank you Lord for the answer Amen. prayers, O oh Lord. Lord. Glory, honor, adoration, and thanksgiving be unto Amen. your name, O oh Lord. In Amen. Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, let's share the grace. Time is gone. Let's share the, the grace. grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us now and forevermore. forevermore. Amen. Amen. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning, sir. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, sir.